Hi everyone and welcome to Methodist College Kuala Lumpur. I'm standing here right inside MCKL's very own auditorium. And on any usual normal day without the pandemic, this hall would have been filled with each of you students, with your parents and with the staff of MCKL because we would have been here to celebrate your graduation and this place would, be, would have been crowded with people. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, we are still unable to meet and unable to host you physically. But today, we would like to honour and celebrate the graduates of both our Diploma in Early Childhood and the ACCA programme. Though we are not able to celebrate this event with each of you physically, we hope that through this session today, we will be able to bring to you the essence and the spirit of the graduation through what you will be seeing on the screen. So welcome once again to each of you who are listening in. We trust that you are keeping safe in the comfort of your home. And if you are out there in the field working, please do continue to keep safe and keep healthy too. Today, you will be hearing a few speeches from different people. You'll be hearing from the Chairman of the MCKL Board of Governors. You'll be hearing from our very own CEO. You'll be hearing from the Head of the ECE Programme. You'll be hearing from the course advisor of the ACCA program and a special extra treat from you for you is you'll be hearing from two of your own people, two representatives from the students who will be speaking to you. We hope that as you listen to each of these speeches, you will be reminded of your time here in MCKL. You will be encouraged by the words that are said to you and that you know that each and every one of you, you hold a very special place in our hearts here in MCKL and we are very proud of you and your achievement today. We are proud of your success and we celebrate this day with you. As the Institution of Excellence for Life, our prayer is that you continue to excel in all areas of life and that you use your God-given talents to make a difference in any society that you end up in. Now we will be hearing from our very own CEO, Ms. Angela Pock. Greetings, dear students, parents, and all virtually present. I'm Angela Pock, CEO of Methodist College, Kuala Lumpur. I would like to warmly welcome each of you to MCKL's first ever virtual diploma in early childhood education and ACCA graduation ceremony of 2021. Due to the drastic rise in COVID-19 cases and restrictions for large gatherings, we must seek other alternatives to honour our students' achievements. Hence, we must count our blessings to still be able to meet virtually to celebrate this special day. Your graduation will always be a special occasion to remember, not only as students, but also to your family members. I truly admire all of you, students, faculty and staff for your continuous determination throughout these challenging times. At the end of the day, you can stand proud seeing how far you have come in this journey. MCKL's mission statement states that what we want, to nurture a community where excellence in all its forms is celebrated and where individuals come alive to their God-given ability to make a unique difference in the world. And indeed, we are gathered here to celebrate our graduates and their lecturers who have used their God-given ability to achieve this success. Celebrating those who are graduating and receiving the prestigious award, the Dato Dr. Chiam Heng King Award presented to the overall best performer from the Early Childhood Education Programme of each year. As I would like to congratulate Kon Li An for receiving the Dato Dr. Chiam Heng King 2021 Award. I would also like to congratulate all the 26 Early Childhood graduates on your accomplishment today. My sincere gratitude to Dr. Grace Chua under Ms. Kok King Lik for leading the team and ensuring the smooth running and success 
of the program. As we also celebrate our ACCA students today, we are grateful to witness four ACCA affiliates complete their journey with us. I wish you the very best in your accounting careers. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Mr. Lau Ching An under the guidance of Mr. Adrian Yao and other members of the accounting department for growing and nurturing the program in MCKL. I believe many parents here today share similar feelings of seeing your child completing their studies, moving on to working life or some moving on to pursue a university degree. As parents, I believe you value nothing more than seeing them growing more responsible and independent to find fulfillment and success in their life. As we live in a vulnerable time when we should be positive and grateful, it is significant to understand and emotionally support our children in every step they take. I hope all of you had a memorable time at MCKL and will be proud alumni of our institution. I urge you to join our alumni society. Feel free to visit us anytime as our doors will always be open to you. Before I end, I would like to express my gratitude to all the parents for their support throughout the years. I would also like to encourage and remind all our graduates to use their abilities and contribute to society near and afar. Once again, congratulations. I wish you the best in your future undertakings and God bless. Thank you, Miss Angela. Thank you for your guidance and your service to MCKL, especially as we go through this pandemic together. Dr. Gerard Boy is our Academic Dean and also the Principal of MCKL's PiCat Campus in Penang. Let's hear what Dr. Gerard has to say to each and every one of you. Dear students, parents and all who are present, I'm Dr. Gerard Boy, Principal of MCKL College, PiCat Campus, and the Academic Dean for KL Campus. First and foremost, on behalf of the Methodist College Kuala Lumpur, congratulations to all our graduates on your well-deserved academic success. Today, we are privileged to celebrate the graduating cohort for the Diploma in Early Childhood Education and the ACCA Professional Accounting Program. Your time with us has not only led you to this momentous occasion, but has prepared you well to meet the challenges of work life. Each of you must be truly proud of your achievements and to be graduating while being challenged by the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. I can only say that you have done extremely well by overcoming the challenges and cope well in an online and hybrid learning environment. MCKL strives to be the institution of excellence for life. We continue to stay robust and constantly discover new innovative ways to adapt to a fast-changing world. With the constant changing demands of the Industrial Revolution 4.0, MCKL believes in strongly focusing on three core areas, knowledge, skills and attitudes in our efforts to produce highly competent graduates to ensure job security. Thus, MCKL has been able to align and implement a truly unique curriculum, one that aligns directly with the needs of society while being strongly grounded on the best of Methodist traditions. Today, MCKL celebrates the graduating cohort for the Diploma in Early Childhood Education. And we are proud to announce that 43% of our students graduated with a CGPA of 3.5 and above. Congratulations to all of you. Each year, the best performing graduate of the Diploma in Early Childhood Education is awarded the Dato Dr. Chiam Heng King Award. This year, the award goes to Ms. Con Lian. Congratulations to you. In addition, we would also like to celebrate the success of our graduating students of the ACCA program in today's graduation ceremony. I would like to congratulate each of you 
for your outstanding achievement for the June 2021 exam as we achieve 100% of the required papers to be above the global passing rate. In conjunction with this graduating ceremony, I would like to take this opportunity to thank Dr. Grace Chua, Head of the Early Childhood Education, and Ms. Ko King Lake, Director of Tertiary Education, for leading the Early Childhood Education team. My sincere appreciation goes to Mr. Lo Chin An under the guidance of Mr. Adrian Yao and other members of the Accounting Department for growing the ACCA program in MCKL. My deepest appreciation goes to the parents of our students for entrusting MCKL with their children's education journey and to produce well-rounded individuals to serve and benefit the community here and beyond. Remember, today's world is in a state of flux and change will be a common thing that you will face. To cope, my advice to you is to continue to improve, excel, and make learning a joy. And this will help you overcome the dynamic changes that you have to face. Continuously improve yourself by attending professional workshops or enroll in online courses to obtain additional credentials. And I promise you that this will go a long way. Graduates, your time at MCKL has come to a close. Along the way, you have made significant connections with the community of academics, fellow students and industries. Take care to maintain these connections and grow them into meaningful networks as you start your journey of life in the workplace. Last but not least, congratulations to you again and we wish you all the best in your future undertakings. May you carry the legacy of MCKL with you everywhere you go and be proud alumni of this institution. Once again, congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Dr. Gerard. Thank you for your service to MCKL and we are really glad to have you on board with us. Our next speech is from our very own MCKL Board of Governors Chairman, Dato Dr. Tan Ki Kuang. Hi. Good morning. To the CEO of MCKL, Juan Angela Park. To the head of MCKL Pi Captain, Dr. Jared Boy, heads of department, lecturers, staff of MCKL, parents, and of course the graduating students. To our honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. First, let me thank the Almighty God for making this gathering possible, especially in view of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. My name is Dr. Dr. Tan Ki Kuang, Chairman of the Board of Governors of MCKL. And indeed, it is a great honour for me to address all of you on this very special occasion. This is truly a memorable occasion for all of you. And I'm proud to personally share it with you. Despite some of the many, many obstacles and challenges of this pandemic that we are still facing. Indeed, you could be truly proud of yourselves because you have stayed focused and work towards your dreams and desires to succeed in your educational aims and finally today to graduate. I believe that many of you know MCKL's very humble beginnings as an afternoon school or school of second chance. Uh, we, the Methodist Bishop Council of Education, or popularly known as COE, advocates education philosophy to feed the mind, the body, and the soul. And to this very day, as chairman of MCKL, in my discussions with the headquarters of Council of Education, we seek very much 
to do the same. Now, I'm proud to say it's not my achievements, but through the achievements of many, especially the former CEO of MCKL, Ms. Moy, we have achieved a lot. This year, we will be celebrating our 38th anniversary and we have achieved many, many things. I'm proud to say, in our discussions with the Ministry of Higher Education Malaysia, MCKL is known as a quality and a serious tertiary education provider. However, this past year, 2020, many chose to do nothing. They say, when will the pandemic end and so on. I wish we knew. Huh? Yet, uh, throughout this difficult time, MCKL saw it as an opportunity to use it as a catalyst to launch our plans. Despite the challenges and demands of the IR 4.0 program or era, MCKL has launched or will be launching many future-proof diploma programs, continuing to provide relevant, quality, and may I add, affordable education in service to the community. Of course, needless to say, one of our proudest achievements this year is to launch the inaugural branch of MCKL in Paikat, Penang, near Burma Road. And I hope, I pray, that we'll be able to take in students very soon. Also today, we celebrate 26 graduates of the Early Childhood Education Program. Congrats! and a big hats off to all of you for this great achievement. I believe that each and every one of you 26 people will be a great asset to education, to our young ones, and to the community as a whole. Also today, we take it as a chance to honour four of our ACCA affiliates. Indeed, Many of you were working and studying and to accomplish you, uh, congratulate you on your accomplishment. Finally, I want to add a few remarks. Huh? Words of advice for me. I'm very senior, I won't tell you how old I am. Uh, number one, work hard and play hard. Number two, always do the right thing. No, don't compromise. In fact, I will emphasize, never compromise on your principles. For example, we talk of accounting. Don't do creative accounting. Adjusting the figures to suit you or your bosses. Number three, be disciplined. Especially now during the MCO time, uh, keep to your regular habits, exercise, sleeping, and so on. And please do not turn night into day and day into night. Another point is stickability. Stickability. Never give up. And finally, I remind myself as well, and you, the words of this very popular Christian song goes like this. One day at a time, Lord Jesus, that's all I'm asking from you. Before I sit down, I'd like to express my gratitude for all the parents of these students assembled before us today. You have sacrificed you have guided your, your young ones in support of education. And 
may I add that education is a priceless asset. Okay. And to the graduating ones, continue to be resilient. Please remember the lessons learned. And if you are anywhere in KL, buy your teachers or lecturers just a cup of tea. Once again, congratulations, God bless, and to God be the glory. Amen. Thank you, Dato. Dr. Tan Ki Kuang. Thank you for your love and commitment and support to MCKL for all these many years. So many of you are familiar with this person because especially for those of you who are in the ECE program, she is one of your lecturers, but also she is the head of the ECE program here in MCKL. I'm going to pass the time over now to Dr. Grace Chua and let us hear what she has to say to all of you graduating students. Congratulations, graduates. Today is a day of celebration to celebrate all the hard work you have done for the past two years. Today is a day of appreciation to thank your parents who have raised you, fund your education and given you all the love, care and support. To thank your lecturers who have shared knowledge and experience with you. To thank your fellow friends who have been there for you, support you and journey with you throughout your study at MCKL. For many of you, this graduation is just the next step in your education. You are heading to a university to complete your degree and some of you will go out to the workplace and start off your career. I hope that you will live your life with joy and meaning and when challenges come, I hope you remember that anger deep within you is the ability to learn and grow. Last but not least, I wish all of you the very success in life. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Grace. I'm sure the students miss you and your team. And thank you for your service to the team. And students do come back and visit your lecturers once this pandemic is over. We would love to see you and I'm sure your lecturers would love to see you also again. We'll be hearing now from a student representative, which is Ariana Te. Ariana Te has just graduated also from the Diploma in Early Childhood Education and she is going to be the representative speaking to everyone on behalf of your cohort. Good morning. I am Erin Caitlin Te from the cohort of 1904. First and foremost, I'm grateful to be given an opportunity to deliver a speech as the student representative of the Diploma in Early Childhood Education program. I am here to speak on behalf of all our graduates in this memorable occasion, our virtual graduation in the year 2021. Fellow graduates, when I first enrolled, I came in with the mindset that this would be just like any other college. After stepping into college, reality kicked in. I was away from home back in Sabah, and I realized that this is the right time to grow, make new friends, and take more chances. When I was in high school, I always avoided big roles, as I somehow had the fear of not living up to the expectations. However, I asked myself, if not now, when? I immersed myself in all things possible from being an orientation camp facilitator, joining clubs and societies, and was then honoured with the privilege to be the president of the Early Childhood Union for the 2020 term. Although 2020 was not an easy year, we were able to have a virtual hangout online fundraiser, and pajama party as our end-of-the-year dinner. Indeed, a memorable one. College experience was definitely not how we expected it to be. I bet a lot of us did not expect what was coming in the past 18 months. We spent a year physically on campus, which in my opinion was one of the best days in college. We got to sit side by side, study in the library, spending late hours in the Agora, completing our assignments, and watch movies during breaks in between classes when we were stressed to one and a half years of remote learning. We woke up one day to the news of COVID-19. Everything was shutting down, including our beloved college. We then transitioned to online learning. We didn't have to wake up early and commute to college anymore. We could wake up 10 minutes before class began. It was a dream come true. It started off great, and that's when reality kicked in. Our days were a cycle of joining scheduled class meetings, sitting in front of our screens for two to six hours a day leaving meetings and back to sitting in front of our screens alone till wee hours of the morning to finish up our assignments. Microsoft Teams was our best friend. I would be lying if I told you that college was easy and we didn't face any obstacles along the way. 
every semester we would have group assignments and I'll be honest to tell you that a lot of us were not excited about it. As the semesters went by, I realized that where I learned the most was by working with my kids. You would be able to see their ideas, their creativity, their individual, unique working styles. Nearing into my second year in college, I found myself at a point where I was burning out. I was demotivated. I didn't have the spark and enthusiasm I had when I first started college. I thought to myself, am I in the right course? The timing for practicum was definitely a saving grace. It reminded me why I'm here and why I want to graduate with a diploma in early childhood education for the children. Throughout my journey in MCKL, we all struggled together. One of the biggest things I reminded myself would be to persevere, no matter how tough it gets. Because when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Every sacrifice, every bit of energy you drag out of yourself every morning, even if all you managed to do was scratch the bare minimum, you're here today. Allow yourself to celebrate your successes, be it big like submitting your case study, or small like just turning on your computer at the start of the day. Allow yourself to try, take chances, don't be like high school Aaron who doubted herself, who missed opportunities because she thought she wasn't good enough. At the end of the day, the biggest obstacle is just yourself. To all our graduates here today, you made it. I see you. There are everyday human experiences that give weight and substance to the certificate you are about to receive. I thank God. I thank all our lecturers that were able to be there by our side, both physically and through the screen. To my parents, to my six siblings, my friends, even my friends in Saba that supported me throughout, and every group member from my assignments that I have completed. Thank you. As we all know, early childhood is something that isn't looked upon yet in our country. Through enrolling, struggling, and graduating from this course, we are here to show that we are equals. I hope that each one of us will be able to be looked at as equals while you are out in the community. We need to remember that we are individuals that are just as capable as everyone else is. A good teacher can inspire hope, ignite the imagination, and instill a love of learning. Success is not a good teacher. Failure makes you humble. Teaching is a very noble profession that shapes the character, caliber, and future of an individual. With that, thank you and happy graduation. Thank you for that speech, Ariana. I always look forward to hearing speeches from the ECE students but it tr because it truly captures the life and the experiences you went through while studying in MCKL. The Dato Dr. Cham Heng King Award is given yearly to the top student who graduates from our Diploma in Early Childhood Education. And this year, we are proud to announce that this award goes to Con Lee An. Congratulations, Lee An. And we would like to hear what you have to say on behalf of your class and what you would like to say to the rest of the graduating cohort. Congratulations to the Diploma in Early Child Education class of 2021. We did it! I'm Leanne from Cohort 1904 and our DEC journey has been like mountaineering to me. The dream of reaching the summit is what drove us. But now at the peak, we can see that what really mattered was the climb. The past two and a half years have been steep with new bags of information thrust upon us. The weight of assignments heavy on our shoulders and the brambles of challenges whilst working with people of differing personalities. Yet, our climb was equipped with moments of revelation and reveling in new knowledge. For example, conducting case studies, researching for our mini dissertation, or the scariest part yet, how to speak to parents during our kindergarten internships. We too experienced the fresh air of camaraderie and we learned to celebrate each other's skills and strengths while developing values like presenting to a crowd. All of this led to the emergence of a splendid landscape, our diploma. For this, I sincerely thank the Lord. He blessed me with the opportunity to take this course and the beautiful people in the form of my family, friends and lecturers. Without each of you, I wouldn't be who I am today. To my family, Thank you for picking up my chores when I was rushing studies or examinations, celebrating each milestone with me, and for sensing that this was the cost for me. To Cohort 1904, my friends, thank you for working tirelessly on group assignments, asking each other, hey, you know how to do this, ah? Or, above all, teaching each other in tough moments. To the lecturers, thank you for your patience in teaching us. 
especially when we were sleeping through 8 a.m. classes, and for guiding us beyond the classroom. If there is one sentiment I want you to take away from this diploma experience and this speech, or to sum it up, it's this. You are all capable of taking on any mountain. You can bring change to yourself, your friends, your students, just like how each of us here have changed the lives of those around us, like mine and the lives to come. Thank you. Congratulations once again, Lian. Thank you for being part of MCKL and we look forward to see what the world has in store for you and for the rest of your cohort. Next, Mr. Lau Chin An, he will be saying a few words. Mr. Lau is the course advisor of the ACCA program here in MCKL. Congratulations, ACCA graduates. You know how much this is meaningful to you, to people you love, and to all of us in MCKL. It is such a joy that we have been through the journey together to see your struggles, the challenges that you face, and even disappointment of students when they don't get through the exam. Well, you have made it through. Your perseverance and hard work is bringing you much fruits of success. And you're going to start a new chapter in your life. With most of your time with new group of people, no longer you will see faces of your lecturers like myself and all other lecturers in MCK. But I remember you in my prayer that God will guide your path and your journey that His favour will go before you. And when you're in the workplace, one of the hardest things you may have to learn is that your efforts, your good works may go unnoticed. And sometimes you feel frustrated and angry or even unappreciated. But remember to lift up your head as God is your witness of your good works. And do not forget your job as an accountant requires so much of your integrity and honesty that it defines your real value. And these principles will bring you very, very far in your life to love mercy, to act justly, and to walk humbly. You know, everyone loves a humble person. And always remember our doors are open for you. When you need someone to talk to, you need advice in your job, in your career, you've got challenges that you just do not know how to handle them and you want to speak to somebody, we are all here with you. Our lectures are always ready for you. Please welcome back or pay us a visit. Congratulations once again and we will all miss you. Thank you, Mr. Lau. Thank you for your service, you and your team of lecturers to all the ACCA students here in MCKL. And to end today's session, once again, we would like to invite our CEO, Ms. Angela Pock, to say a few words in closing. Dear graduates and all viewing, I would like to conclude this virtual graduation ceremony with a few words to our graduates. As you proceed to the next chapter of your lives, I would like to share a few ingredients for success. Things I have observed in people I have known and came across over the years. Firstly, always carry out your responsibilities, 
consistently with integrity. To the best of your ability, people will naturally trust you and turn to you for leadership. Next, always be courageous. In the face of adversity and tragedy, continue to be optimistic and never afraid to seek for help when needed. Look after yourself. After all, health is the ultimate wealth. Learn to be bold and take risks. Never let failure stop your ambitions. At times, we may think that we are in a fix, but I urge you to not give up and see it as a chance to explore and test your limits. Above all, take pleasure and satisfaction in what you do and what you achieve. Remember to always pursue what makes you happy as happiness can only come from within. I invite you to see your studies here as part of a lifetime of learning. Graduates, and now fellow alumni of the Methodist College of Kuala Lumpur, you have paid your dues. You deserve to be proud of your achievements and to take this opportunity to celebrate. Once again, I thank all those who are virtually present here. To our fellow graduates, congratulations and God bless. <music>